Hi, here we can see how to create the FTP server and enable the anonymous users access and upload. These are the two tasks we are going to do in this tutorial. And let me describe the and here we need to enable the port the two port used for the FTP server those ports are port number port number 20 20 and port number 21 the 20 port used to data transfer and 21 used to connection establish okay the package we are going to install is vs ftpd is the package name package and the service we are going to start and stop and restart is etc init.d slash vs ftpd start and stop and restart the same we can do in service vsftpd start stop and restart okay and here we can see the package how we want to install yum install vsftpd thus we need to install minus y will be automatically proceed you don't give us the confirmation for yes or no and we can install once more one more we need to install the client yum install ftp need to be installed and the configuration files is under vim is under etc vsftpd vsftpd dot conf it's the configuration file need we need to edit and here here we can see how to install the FTP package and how to configure confi configure the FTP server for anonymous user access files and upload okay and shall we go to installation steps the step to install first one is yum install vsftpd vsftpd okay and i am used to minus y and already the package has been installed so i don't want to install the package and let me try whether the ftp package has been installed or not yeah it's getting installed it's completed and now i want to edit the configuration file vim atc vsftpd vsftpd.conf here we go that by default the anonymous users is enabled yes and the local users to enable but we don't want to use configure for the local user now so i am going to command it with ash so it it don't take any actions anonymous users is enabled yes and anonymous upload you want to be enabled and command option that's it we are now going to access the file and only the anonymous upload and access so let the no other changes we want to do the and just save the file and exit and restore the ftp server vsftpd restart okay the service has been started and while the booting time the ftp want to be get stored automatically each and every time while we are starting the pc so for that we want to use one of the command check config vsftpd on this will 
make the VSFTPD package to automatically run. The script will run automatically when the system start start up. So for that, if whether the it's choose for the um, boot time process, whether you want to check whether it is choose or not, NTCSV command we can choose and see here what's mentioned. What services should be automatically started? In that list, VSFTPD want to be start choose by start yeah it has been choose to automatically loaded when the PC gets start okay mm, now we can see how to access the files and just before that we want to create some of the folders and files inside the FTP folder okay for that where FTP there is only public folder and pub folder okay come back and public folder will be accessible everywhere and we can write the files too but if you create create any other folder we can able to access the file and we can able to upload it so better we can create a file and we can create some of the files inside the public folder too mkd your uploads that is the directory i have created and inside the pub I am creating some of the files touch test okay I'm going to create the 10 files it's created and let us access from the browser and see whether it's working or not mm, because of the visual machine is taking little bit time and it will be slower yeah so we can see whether we can access or not 192.168.1 dot yeah 25 20 I forgot my IP let me see the what's my IP okay I have config at that one is 20 yeah I can uh, access the folders public folder the files are here and upload folder this process is just accessing the files and we can be able to access from the command line to FTP 192.168.1.20 and anonymous user and the password is blank the login was successful okay and the login was successful and if you need to know whether which directory we are now pwd it will show the root what wherever we are there but it will show the root as the root this is anonymous user so it will redirect to the slash where and ftp if you are a local user it will redirect to the local users home directory and it will show like just like slash it's just like a root and here we see lcd command used to see which directory we are and put means we can put upload any files so it's asking asking me to put any file so i have the file in term directory just put doc text and where it where it want to upload slash where slash ftp and could not create the file because why the reason is because i have not configured i have configured the uh, anonymous upload but i want to do the some of the settings like i want to enable the boolean and content and context and i want to allow the setup facial some of the settings are there so step by step we can see that okay for that there i have created directory under where ftp uploads okay pwd i am inside the where ftp uploads but we are not change the content for the folder 
so here we can check whether what's the content ll minus the command used to find the content is ll minus hyphen is a d slash var slash ftp slash uploads this will give us a content which content want to be for the public we can't able to write and read and write now so we need to change it to read and write for that use the command ch con change content minus t and if you can't able to type just copy and paste this I'm going to do that so I have to link that public content read and write underscore t and which direct you want to be read and write now check the same command here you go see it has been changed to public content read and write that's it and we need to change the we have to set the boolean to so it's get a z bool a z bool minus a grab pipe grab ftp it will show some of the options allow we want to set the boolean to allow ftpd and all right anonymous user want to write the folder directory so for that set set as set a z bool minus capital P allow underscore FTPD underscore and on underscore right on after ex executing this command it will take little bit time to get to the normal condition because it's going to off the SC it's going to change the some of the settings in the um, directly for the directory of uploads allow ftpd anonymous user to write on the directory so here we see ll minus d slash where ftp uploads here you see read and write execute read and write read and execute and read and execute it now it's not enabled for the anonymous users for for that we need to change one more settings set of ACL that one is ACL procedures set of ACL for that we need to get a facial get F A C L get a facial for the directory where FTP um, uploads it will show what's the ACL has been set to the directory uploads the owner is root and group is root and the user root can read write execute but the group members can't write and others can't write so we need to do one thing we want to add the FTP user FTP user to the directory so anyone can read and write and execute for that we need to set the command set of ACL minus m u user u means user and the FTP he need to be read write and execute for the directory where FTP and uploads okay here we get once more the ACL for the directory get a face here here you can see the root is owner and the root is the group the user is user can read write execute but the FTP user also have the right to read and ex write and execute okay that's it now we can access the files and we can upload the files in the directory so and one more thing that one is after this we need to restart the VS FTP service okay now we can access the files from somewhere from the browser and from the command line and we can upload the file from the command line let me check here we can upload another file now put put 
put talk text it have been uploaded put test remote put test the file has been uploaded and let me see the file yeah it has been uploaded for downloading your file we can use the command get okay for listing ls for viewing if you want to see whether in which directory we are lcd that's it if you want to exit we can say by or we can press control plus d or type as exit and blah 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 that's it and we can see in next tutorial and we can't able to one more thing we can't able to delete the file from the directory delete put dot text permission denied because you know one thing we have just configured for the upload and only for the access we can view the file and we can upload the file we can't able to delete the file so we can't able to delete the file that's it bye